Muli Shani Wednesday. Welcome back to Life with the Fletchers. Today is Wednesday and so I hope you're having a beautiful, amazing, wonderful hump day. Uh, we are currently out here on the balcony. I am entertaining the kids. I'm trying to keep them, or at least I'm trying to keep them entertained. Judah has been clingy all day. Actually, he's been clingy for weeks, if not months. And it seems like he's just getting clingier by the minute. So I'm taking a break from what I'm trying to do inside. And I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to be restyling our dining area as well as our kitchen area, which I hope I can get done today because it's already 4 p.m. So we're just going to make it work. We're going to work with what we've got. Careful, baby. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and give you a walkthrough in a minute. I'm going to show you what the layout is like, what it is that I plan on changing, and the DIYs that I plan on doing, getting done hopefully today. If you like watching DIYs and design type of shows, you're definitely going to enjoy this one. So I will see you guys. Okay, so this is the dining area. As you all know, we've got an open concept house or apartment rather. So there's the kitchen over there and it goes into the dining and into the living room. So don't mind the mess. I'm going to be cleaning in the course of this video. So that's the whole point. Restyling, cleaning, DIYs, upcycling, stuff like that. So uh, on the floor, we've got a seven by nine area rug, which was in the living room. For those of you that watch our vlogs, this rug is not really my favorite or my preferred rug when it comes to the dining area because it's just not durable enough and it's hard to keep clean already. It's got stains on it. They're hard to see right now. I try to scrub it or spot clean it, clean it as often as possible, but it's just not going to work out in the long run so i'm thinking about replacing this with um natural rug so something like a jute type of rug in the near future but for now we're going to keep this leave this right here and then on the table i have bella let me finish filming bella's trying to watch tv so let me hurry up while i'm doing this so on the table we have all of the decor that I'm trying to upcycle. These two vases I got off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, I absolutely love them. They were only $20 for both, which is an amazing price for two large vases like this. I'm thinking about upcycling these by painting them. This one, I'm thinking about doing a matte black on that one, and then I might add a little bit of art here and there, like maybe a bit of white and gold in there. I'm probably not going to do um the white and gold today but i'll definitely spray paint it black today because i want that done and then this one i'm thinking about changing the top to a nice white so that the contrast will be a lot better with the bottom i'm going to leave the bottom it's like a rough type of finish on it and i'm going to put that on the bar in the kitchen and then i'm also thinking about just taking this macrame runner off because it just gets stained it easily gets stained and it's kind of taking away from the vibe of this room it's very bohemian and I'm not against bohemian as you can see I've got the baskets up there which is very bohemian inspired and I'm thinking about just kind of minimalizing it so it's not just so much going on so that's what I plan on doing there then with the mirror i'm thinking about changing that one out for a beautiful vintage gold vintage mirror that i saw on facebook marketplace i hope it hasn't been sold yet because <laughs> i've really really kept my eye on that one yes baby so hopefully i can get that this weekend if not we're just going to leave that up here for now i'm going to leave the baskets up here because like i said they i like the vibe of them but i'm trying to tone down the bohemian type of vibes if you find 
found the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't Look at this worry about What are you doing in there? Well, you know what, at least you're playing and not trying to be on my hip but what are you doing in there regardless? Oh my gosh. Well, sometimes you have to make it work, people. What is this? Do you know, why did you get this out? Oh, there's so much cleaning to be done. I think we should have some more fun. More fun. Yes, Bella. I still dream about the days when we were young. Oh, I'll take a hit and still oh, finish oh. and run, yeah, yeah. Too far away from our hearts, yeah, yeah The ones we keep close, we should never let go So tell me who you love, baby Take a moment to unwind, fix yourself and re- Okay, so I'm preparing dinner I made some Yes Joy, some broccoli and sausage Because Shane likes that, it's easy for his keto And then I'm heating up some water to make some mac and cheese for the kids And I'm just going to keep dinner super simple so we should be good to go. This is actually uh, ready right now. Okay, so before I have dinner, I've decided to at least paint one of the vases and I'm painting it in this bare collection. This is a chalk decorative paint in a unique matte finish by Classic Noir. I got this from the Home Depot. I'm sure it's on Amazon or Walmart. Uh, I don't know if it's a Walmart, but I think it should be on Amazon as well. So I'll link whatever I can down below. So check that out if you're interested in getting this paint. And let's get started before it gets too dark. So everything's been prepped. Um, I put paper, oh, let me actually put this one on here so it doesn't ruin the floor or the ground. And hopefully this is going to go pretty well. I haven't used spray paint in a while. I'm going to shake that by quick and hopefully this is, will go better than expected. So, let's try that out. Just a little coat. I hope it covers it pretty well. Okay. So, a little bit goes a long way. And I'm going to cover my face just so it doesn't get in my... I don't inhale too much of that paint. Oh wow, do you guys see that? It's got pretty good coverage. Really, really good coverage, let's see. And that's just from the first coat, but we'll see how it's going to dry. Realign yourself with the world, baby. Breathe slow, baby. my little mushroom look at that it happens hopefully maybe Dollar Tree still has them I got that from Dollar Tree but let me show you what the vase looks like this is amazing paint oh my gosh this is it's been barely a minute since I painted this I've barely used even up to like a quarter of this paint and it looks so good so i'm thinking that i'm going to leave it as is i'm not going to do a second coat because i wouldn't mind if some of the old colors of the original vase peek through i think that is going to give it even more character so right now i'm loving this it's going to dry in a matte black and it's going to look so modern and so high end not that the other one didn't look like that before but it was just way too traditional before and now it just looks so modern. And that's the job. Um, you have to move all that stuff from there. 
So it's the next day, as you can see, and I'm drinking some um, coffee. <laughs> what are you two doing? Ouch! What are you trying to do? Gosh, goodness. Okay, Judah, you need to be careful. That's the problem with um, sitting over here. Judah wants to climb up on the bar and get stuff in. Uh, <laughs> that's the issue with having to sit here by the bar. Judah wants to get into everything, so. I'm not a coffee drinker by nature, I guess. I don't know if that's even a thing. Um, I had a really, really short night, a long night rather. And I didn't get much sleep, so I definitely really need it today. So all I put in here was, uh, I put quite a little bit of um, whole milk. I don't have almond milk on hand, so I decided to use some whole milk instead. And I didn't add any sugar to this, so this is a dark roast. It's very, very strong for me because, like I said, I'm not a coffee drinker, but hopefully it will help me wake up, fully wake up and get some work done today. So we're still going at it. I actually got quite a few things done yesterday. Uh, so hopefully today I'll finish what it is that I have been planning to accomplish. So. For dark coffee, this is pretty good. This is like the um, Italian roast, I think. It's Italian roast. I got it from, where did I get this from? I think I got it from Big Lots. I'm not too sure. Big Lots, not Aldi. It must have been Big Lots. It's really good. Okay, now that I'm done drinking half of this, this is probably as much as I my body can take. I'm going to go ahead and show you the end result of this vase. You guys saw me paint this yesterday. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at that. Just look at the detail from the paint. Judah, please do not break my mirror. Judah's crawling down there. And be careful, you two. There's no stomping or jumping in the house, okay? Yeah, so Judah, 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 Judah. Can you stop hitting my mirror, please? He's down there. Judah. Judah. That's a no, no. No, no. Are you supposed to be hitting the mirror? No, you're not. So can you calm down, please? Thank you. Let me bring it up close so like, you can see all the textures that are going on here. Could you just see that detail going on over there? Like the, it's almost like a bump on the, wee hoo, yay, wee hoo, Bella. There's a little bit of green happening down there, but I'm going to leave it as this because I'm not looking for perfection. I think it's perfect. It's imperfectly perfect. So that looks really good. And I'm going to work on the other one today. So without further ado, I think let's go ahead and start styling um, the dining area and then we'll move on to the kitchen a little bit later. But I'm going to go ahead and start moving all the stuff off of here just so we can have a blank slate. This can come in here for now because I'm going to work on it. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to show you these coffee books that I got from an unlikely store, the Dollar Tree. So these were a dollar each. This one over here is, what's this one called? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called, I don't know if it's Maestra. No. Maestra, I don't know. But this one is giving me some Tommy Hilfiger vibes. If you look at the, like, the red, the white and the blue. Be careful, Joy. Bella, please don't run in the house. You're shaking the cameras, you do that, baby. And then this one as well. This one is another novel. I love the aesthetic of that one. It's also got a lot of texture going on. So I'm definitely going to read these two. I, did, I just didn't get them because they look good. I am going to read them as well. And then this one is my absolute favorite. It's called Reclaiming Style and it's a design book. So it's like a DIY and design book. Judah, could you please let me open this? <laughs> And this one has 
like pictures in it and it's got all kinds of design in there so it's basically showing design like from reclaimed materials like woods and metals so this is definitely up my alley because i like using old mixing old with new um mixing the old with new in my home so i definitely I'm excited to read this one. I've already read like a page or two out of this one. So great, great books. So just in case you're looking for coffee table books, they're pretty expensive if you want, try to look for them online. Buy your Dollar Tree, local Dollar Tree that is if you live in the US and you could score some really good fun. <laughs> I'm thinking about styling the table now. Now I'm going to add this tray. This was also a thrifted find. I thrifted this a couple of years ago. Haven't really tried, haven't really had a place to um, style it until now. Uh, excuse me, we're going to paint outside and not here. In here. So. Okay, Bella, let's put this away. Inside. We're going to paint outside because I don't want you making a mess on my floors and on my, I want you steaming everything. Go ahead and add the piece of the side. So we're going to put that there. I think I'll just turn it around like that at an angle. It doesn't have to look perfect. Let me move it back a little bit. Okay, sorry. Baby. I think that looks good. Hmm, you see the contrast? I think that looks really good. I'm going to add two more things. I'm thinking about adding this base or vase with the corks in it to give it some contrast and add a different type of texture to that. Judah, what's the matter, baby? Let's see how that feels. Okay. I do not hate it at all, guys. Lastly, but not least, I'm going to add this white, I don't know what this is. It's not a bowl because it's not completely spherical, but I got this from uh, Dollar Tree as well. And I've also got another one in black. I'll show it to you. It's on a bookcase. And we're working in odd numbers right yeah. now. I think this works pretty good. It's very, very neutral. It's also very modern. It looks very modern to me. And so, what's wrong, baby? Okay, get down. Can you get down? You Do you need me to pull you out? Okay, hold on, Joy. Oh, got it. You good? I'm good. Good job. All right, that's good. I'm trying to do a little bit of painting out here on the balcony. And a lot has happened. If you'd like to keep up with what's going on, check my stories out on Instagram and Facebook. Um, we have Bella over here. She is doing a pretty good job. She's just, you know, painting her heart out. We don't have any plan of what we're trying to get out of this. Judah, please do not eat that. And then this little fella has done a lot get your hands out of there little boy you better not eat it i took it out don't put it in your mouth yeah so he's tried to eat the paint a couple of times uh thank goodness it's water-based well he, i didn't i'm trying to make sure that he doesn't put his little fingers in his mouth so yeah he's covered in some of it he lost interest for a little bit which is good but now he's back at it again so I don't know if, ah, uh, no, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. Judah, this is not food, baby. Lord help us. This is going to be an interesting endeavor. Going to be very, very interesting. So I've got this vase over here, over here that I'm trying to paint. I don't really know if it's going to be a good idea to do it with him around. I'm not doing any spray painting with this one, but I am going to be using quite a bit of paint. And can you please cut it out, please? Judah, stop playing with the paint. I mean, I, I was hoping that you'd kind of get the gist. Well, I understand he's 14 months old. So I didn't expect him to get it right away. Oh my gosh! Judah, okay, I need to do some coaching right now. Refereeing, coaching type stuff. Can you stop? Stop fighting. Okay, it's officially time for us to take baths. So this happened when Judah got mad at her and he painted her face. Bella, Judah. And then here's a little boy, he's got paint all over his bum, all over his bum, paint on his little fingers. Thank God it's dry because it would have been everywhere. So anyway, it is bath time. Ready? Set, go. <laughs> okay, so baths have been taken and Judah just woke up from his two hour nap, I think, which was amazing. <laughs> he's over there laughing <laughs> he's giggling yeah that's because he... hold on mama can you like let me mute uh turn this down and mute it a little bit which is amazing because he usually only takes like 40 minute naps in the afternoon and this time it was like almost two hours and so i'm really really happy about that but unfortunately honey do you mind taking that off so that i can film right quick but right now, Bella, stop messing with me. I'm about to mute this. I am muting this because she's doing it on purpose. This little girl, she is so cheeky. But anyway, unfortunately, I didn't get to do my DIY and I'm actually debating whether I should make an attempt to do it right now while the kids are settled or if I should just wait until their dad gets home. Either way, I'm just, I'm not going to sweat it you know these things take time and I'm learning to just take one day at a time each day as it comes and not to sweat the small stuff because it's not worth stressing about why did you throw that on the floor and it's not really worth losing my piece over so um, I'm just going to play it by ear we'll see how the kids um, Fair with me having to do it, especially Judah, and yeah, I'll let you guys know. This is the vase that I had showed you in on Thursday. I think this is when I started this. I'm not sure if it was Thursday or Wednesday. The days are getting jumbled together, but I used, um, I actually showed part of the DIYs on Instagram. This is a mixture of, let me see if I can show you. Let me pick up the paint. Oh. This um, paint is a mixture of this Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover. It's like a semi-gloss white. And I'll probably, I'll leave a link down below of all these paints. Yeah, descriptions, it's in the description down below. And this one is just the antique white matte paint from Walmart. I think this was like 56 cents. And so I mixed the two because I wanted it to still feel, have that vintage feel. I didn't want it to be too contemporary. And I think I did pretty, quite a pretty good job. So let me know in the comments down below if you like this one as well, or which one you like better between the two uh, vases that I worked on. And another thing is, I don't know if you remember, the bottom had like a dark color and then the top was a yellow, like a must, not a mustard yellow, but it was like a vintage type of yellow. Um, I was debating whether I needed to leave the bottom because at first I just wanted to do the top and leave the bottom because it's, it had that rustic feel. But when I put the white on there, it just wasn't working out. It just looked too, too different and so i decided to just kind of cover 
the bottom just a little bit to like just use um, to do some light strokes with the paintbrush at the bottom but to let it kind of like seep through um, or peek through and I think this was the best decision for this one. Oh, I like this one. And so we're going to keep everything very simple here. So that can stay there. I definitely love the detail of, ooh, is it too low? Okay, I did not think this through. It kind of feels too low. Let me see if I can maybe make it a little bit higher. Okay, so this is feeling pretty weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I'll let you look at that. Okay, it doesn't look too bad from here, but I'm not sure. I am not sure if that's going to work. There's a light fixture up there, so it just looks a little tacky. So this is probably not the best spot for this, but since I have this hook up here, I think I'm going to probably just add, hang another plant up here. That might be better. Very, very simple. And I'm, I love that the white from the vase is pulling out all the white in the kitchen, from the kitchen, uh, because, you know, the cabinets are a, like yellowish, orangish wood, and I really don't like the color of the cabinets. I wish we could paint them, but I highly doubt that we can. I might have to ask uh, the apartment manager if we're allowed to paint them. This one is going to be a work in progress. This plant, I need to repot it in a way bigger planter, but I can't do that today because I don't have, I haven't found the planter that I'm looking for at an affordable price. So this is going to go down here. The last thing that I'm probably going to do in here for now is switch out a letter holder with this uh, painting because I think that will make a really, really big difference of making this room feel a lot more put together. Now I'm just going to use chalk. It's actually good chalk that I learned. It's so oh, oh my gosh. I got it. Okay. Oh, I'm breaking it. Can you see that? It's so thin. Yeah, so. So I don't think it's going like in. Okay. Yeah, I think we got it. I need to figure out where this is going to go first. This does not have regular hook holders, like hook, um, yeah, the little hook things holders, so I have to be very precise. I'm thinking I don't want it too high, but I don't want it like, we've got the switch over here and we've got the thermostat on the other side. So maybe I'll just keep it a little bit higher. This the frame is so heavy, it's quite heavy. I am using these little hooks from, I got these from the Home Depot, I think. And they're called Ooks. So that's what the little box looks like. And I'm going to put these up. So it's going to like, going to put, hammer that through. And then that will be the tiny hook that will hold it in place. And I'm going to do four, four of those, so. In. 
I hope that's not wrong. Yeah. No, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. I'm scared to put these other two in. I hope it's not wonky. I hope it's straight. Because I don't want to have to take these out again. Maybe it's too much, but I'm trying to. Yeesh. <laughs> Let me just go with it. They're hooks. They're hooks for the thing. So you can say good morning to everybody. What are y'all doing here? Hey, darling. Uh, that's the first thing you do. Wash your hands, little boy. You've been outside. Hmm? Hmm? Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah, so... Wait, let me try to see if it will work with it. I need about four because this is a heavy frame. And it goes up like that. Okay, so that's straight. Just need to make sure the other two... Is it straight, baby? Is it straight? Center. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Move that voice, can you see? Oh. I just need it to be straight. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Excuse too me. worried about it being centered right now. Uh it looks it looks straight to me. Okay, it doesn't look like wonky on one mm -hmm. side or whatever. Okay. Should I just leave the two hooks up? I think I well this is higher than this. I don't think that light switch is straight, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Well, maybe it's the painting. I don't know. No, I think the light switch is, 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 like, a little slanted. It's a square, but it's, like, turned. Oh, really? Like, yeah, I'm looking at it. I guess long street lines expose uh, the bad, um, the bad job that was done. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. He said it's straight, so let me put the last two in. I know. As for as many, you're right, because for as many DIYs as I could do, I, I need work. stuff like that. I need a drill. No, we've got a drill. Got a, drill yeah. a good leveler. A uh, yeah, I the need to The problem is it's got a cord, and that cord is short. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's like a super, super strong drill. Mm -hmm. Sometimes too strong. You like strip a few screws in my day. Hi, Dad. What you doing? Okay, I just got out of the shower and I'm going to go ahead and put a hair mask on by one and only H Renew. Renewing hair mask. This is replenishing and restores and maintains healthful, healthy, youthful hair. And it's a treatment mask. So I don't know how many minutes I need to keep this on. This is probably one of the very first. Uh, I'm not going to say I've never used a hair mask before. I think I did a couple of years ago, and I usually make my own, but this I bought this one because I wanted to test it out because I think my hair needs some um, TLC right now. And first, let me start off by doing my skin. First and foremost, I'm going to use a balancing mist just to help bring back some moisture. my skin because it is hot well I sweat more when it's hot but for some reason my skin has been really dry and Judah is here with me because this little boy is I don't know what do you call that say a baby just wants to be around you all the time when your baby wants to be around you all the time this is my reality with this little guy using a vitamin C radiant serum by Honest Company. Honest Beauty and I'm trying this out for the second time I got this yesterday. I'm going to use that much. I'm going to put that on my face. If Judah will let me show you how to do how I can do that. So I'm just going to put um on I'm going to Rub it into my skin. The weekend that just passed was a very emotional one. We just found out that we lost um, a friend of ours. I guess we weren't like close friends, but you know, we considered him a friend. And you know, Shane 
he was really beaten up about that. So he was really, really emotional. And to be honest, I'm hurting as well. But one thing I will say, in as much as I'm hurting, there's some relief in knowing that he's in heaven. Because um, I know for a fact that he was saved and he was passionate about sharing the gospel, winning the loss to the cross, to Christ. So, oh, this is really good. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I didn't expect it to be. This does not even feel like a mask. It feels like a leave-in a leave-in conditioner. It has oh and it smells yummy. Do you smell that, Judah? That smells absolutely yummy. So I'm not even gonna use that much on each side. I didn't take this one down. And so it's you know that at least I'm hopeful because of that fact. Um I remember the year that we met him, he was he shared his testimony testimony of how he got saved with me and I could tell just by from the way he was speaking that he was all in, you know. And just from the way that he you know, I heard him pray and preach a little bit and he loved being, you know, he loved ministering to kids, teenagers mostly. And he was so passionate about the gospel. And so, you know, that, you know, it brings some joy to my heart, even though, you know, now is a really difficult time, especially for his family. And we are definitely praying for his family. And we hope that they'll be comforted at this time and that they'll find closure as well because it's hard you know nobody expected that he would get covid you know this was unprecedented it was unforeseen you know nobody knew that 2020 was the year that we would lose him he had been battling with covid 19 for the past few weeks and we found out with us yesterday so you know that is that is tough but yeah I've been wanting to get done with you know, the dining room and the kitchen, but life happens. We're still going at it, so hopefully today's the day. Today's the day I'm determined, and I really do hope that I will get a chance to get done today because we just can't keep going like this. <laughs> we have to finish something, don't we? We do. We have to finish something today. And I hope you can help me with that. Yeah? Because part of the reason, and in as much as I enjoy your company, little boy, I need to do some other things, you know? I just, I need to do something else as well. Uh, look at how he's, do you see the look that he's giving? Because <laughs> I'm telling him I can't hold him forever and just keep him entertained forever yeah Judah I'll never be able to accomplish anything if you just keep uh, demanding that I hold you and take you everywhere that I go so yeah that's what's on the agenda this afternoon and you know what I'm almost done with this I'm just going to braid it back up and then we'll see how well it's going to do after this but I really do like this stuff I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested. You guys don't mind the state of my hair where I look right now. But I wanted to show you this print because I ended up putting it up behind the camera because I was getting impatient. But I think I like it here. It's very, I don't know, it kind of feels tropical, botanical type of, you know, it's giving that our uh, dining room that type of feel. But I like that it's a little bit more minimal than the letter holder that was here that just felt too bulky. And it, that was just too much going on. It felt like it was cluttered. But now I'm trying to make another change in here because I'm starting to feel like it's really, really cluttered in here as well. Let's see if you guys are in the shot. Yeah, I don't mind the mess in the background. I need to iron those clothes in our room. But yes, I would like to take those back wall baskets down 
some of them are trays. I think baskets or tray. Because I think they are starting to overpower this section. And then considering that we have the bookcase on the other side as well, this just isn't working out. It feels overwhelming. It's not allowing anything to shine. And I don't think it's given the eye any rest. So I think it's time to say goodbye to these. I'm not getting I'm not getting rid of them. I'm just going to use them differently. They're probably going to be trays for now until maybe I find another space for them in, a, in our next home. So, but I think this is so much better and I need to take these. Oh, they're in there. I need to go get a, I'll have to get the hammer. It has the other side that I can use to take the nails off. But to be honest with you, it looks so much better without me even having finished. Obviously I'm going to be doing quite a bit of work in here. And like I told you, I'm thinking about getting a different mirror. I'm thinking about getting a vintage mirror with a gold frame. And so that's going to change the look up a little bit more as well. And I'm changing the rug out as well. Whenever, you know, God willing, whenever we have the means to do so. And I'm going to redo that painting as well. Thinking about putting this vase on top of this, like that. Hopefully this will work out. Tell me what you think, and then maybe Alexa can go in there as well. Okay, we're in this corner of the kitchen near the stove. I want to make it a little bit more minimal than it's been lately. So over here, I'm just going to add this cake stand and we're going to have the butter the butter holder there and so this is going to be like one little section here so I'm not going to mess with that or try to add anything else counter space is so weird so this might go over there you know what? I'll take this over here where it was and actually I wanted to share this little tip with you this is actually a plant uh, pot and I'm using it as a tool holder, a utensil holder, because, you know, it just works. So you don't always have to use the traditional utensil holders. If you want to add some more interest, you could try something else, like the spoons and forks that we eat with here. And then in this little corner, this is not, it's not going to be perfect tonight. I'm just showing you basically what I'm going to be doing how it's going to be from now on and I'll perfect it later. Like I'll make sure everything is dusted and cleaned out and stuff like that. So here I'm thinking to just do a book, a cookbook for that kitchen feel. And these are dishes that I'm going to be serving dinner on. So that's going to go there. And then on this side, I'm thinking about adding, let me see if I can move that this way I hope you can see that um, look yeah you can so I'm just going to do like a cookbook on a stand and then we have the clock there and I'm going to add a vase over here so let's turn around there and those are the threes and I think it looks so much better it feels a lot more put together and a lot more designed. And of course, I've told you, I don't like the color of the cabinets, but you have to work with what you've got. So for dinner tonight, I made some Cornish hens, made a sauce for them, cabbage and rice, uh, jasmine rice. And so this is going to be dinner for tonight. And in fact, right now I am going to just close this vlog out here right now right here because it's getting a little bit lengthy oh it's okay bring him here soon let me take him yeah 
The kids are restless. Hubby and the kids are hungry. And they're waiting for me to get done. So I'm definitely not going to. Like I haven't shown you everything that I wanted to show you, but I'm going to be vlogging for the rest of the week. So I'll keep giving you updates. But for now, at least you kind of have a feel. I hope that you had. I've given you a little bit of a feel of what I'm trying to do in here. And you definitely get to see more updates as we go. But for now, I think we're going to say good night so we can have dinner and we can rest and relax. And yeah, we want to say bye bye. We'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. I've been, this is the second vlog of the week. You have to bye bye. And so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Oh, good night. Good job. <laughs> Bye.